Postmuerte TV seguimos con nuestro recorrido de ferias. Hoy acompáñame a visitar Pulse. Helen, it's such a pleasure to be in Pulse again. Thank you um, so now much for coming. With your direction, uh, and we're about to to visit the fair, and we heard amazing things about what is happening this year. Thank so you. So, could you tell us a little more yeah. about the idea of this year and some highlights you would like to talk with us? Yeah, absolutely. So, this is the ninth. Uh, ninth year for Pulse New York, very excited, I'm the new director. We have some fantastic projects, um, Chantelle Martin has made this uh, amazing mural over her booth, it's called You Are You, which is fabulous, and um, yeah, we have, some, we have some wonderful, wonderful projects here. That's fantastic, so we look forward to, to start visiting, yeah. and, and come visit us in uh, Miami for our 10 year celebration in December. Oh wow, yeah. we should be there Very for the Very excited, party. yeah absolutely, you're invited of course. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was so a much. pleasure to talk yeah. with you. Chantel, it's such a pleasure to find you in the fair. And we wanted to learn more about your work and your meditation in lines, characters, and how you mix different fields of the art, like the fine arts, the commercial work, the common language of people. Yeah, I'm working in many different ways. So, you know, one way that I work is, um, you know, with these, with these big pens and, and drawing on uh, surfaces, like walls and cars and shirts and people and clothes and sometimes faces. Oh. Um, but I also do work, I collaborate with my grandmother oh, and um, so my, my grandmother is in her 80s and she lives in London so I send her instructions and she sews them and sends them back to me so that's another way that I've been working and then I've also been doing you know kind of sculptural light pieces I teach at um, New York University and my class is called Drawing on Everything Oh wow! Because so that's, you, that's what I do, draw on everything. Uh, <laughs> I see your house, uh, all the walls in your house are uh, drawn on yeah, your... Yeah, everything. <laughs> everything. My bike, my house, my, yeah, my, my, yeah. all my clothes, yeah. So. so it's dangerous to be near you. It's very dangerous to be near me <laughs> if, you're wearing, <laughs> if you're wearing white or something plain, it's, it's dangerous. It's piece by an uh, American artist, Cynthia Constantina. She lives in Massachusetts and she works in ceramics. And uh, the title for this piece is Tantrum. His name is Simon Vega. He is from uh, El Salvador. And the idea behind, Sim behind Simone's Vega is two parts. One is the idea of um, sculptures that he creates based on found objects. The sculptures um, reference a lot of times the machinations and war tools that was used during the Cold War, and especially the role of Central America during the Cold War, between the superpowers of USA and USSR. But in his mind, these are very serious subjects, and he likes to treat it with somewhat of a humor. Um, so he recreates these um, installations, in this case it's a submarine, but it's all based on found objects, objects that he finds wherever it is that he's creating the work. However, the work is very nicely tied with his architectural drawings and the renderings. So if you look over here, what you'll see is actually a drawing of a submarine, but the submarine also has a timeline that speaks of the history of the role of Central America, especially during the Cold War. So that's kind of why they're always tied in together. And you can also see the technique. So it's, he's conceptual in his work and in his ideas, but then the drawings really reinforce the technique that he has. Um, those, and then the second part of his work is the architectural drawings. And the architectural drawings are based on his imagination of what an ideal city 
or a Babylonian city or the loss of a Babylonian city would be because again, especially with ancient ruins, in the past it would be built on top of each other but it would be protected another, with another kind of a, a building where now it's just being built on top of it and almost disappearing. So it's his commentary that it's disappearing but he wished for it to be a certain way. So this is uh, Victor Fresso, and he's out of Bratislava in Slovakia. And uh, basically he does more controversial pieces about the economy, about social standings, things like that. Um, and what we have here is his take on some of the guitars. Here this piece is one of the more popular ones. And it's basically when you're talking about music and, and guitars and things that culture, it's very wide. But here he's put it into a frame. He's put it into something that you can understand and you can see like that. Um, these are other pieces, he's taking uh, iconic pieces, uh, very orthodox pieces. This work is by Adolfo Doring, and he, um, he is an artist who is, had created a fake trailer. Um, and the fake trailer is basically a series of different little trailers where he hired actors and actresses and went to different locations and, and then compiled this fake trailer together and realized that it actually was an example of the 21st century, a good sort of example of society and our obsession with technology and how people now live in poverty but yet they have the highest end technology in TVs as you can see from the installation with the, um, you know, that we're obsessed with our iPhones and iPads and everything else, but it doesn't matter what we're eating, what we're doing, as long as we have technology. Yeah. And also it's so loud, right, that it's yeah. almost uh, disturbing. It is disturbing, yeah. I invited uh, Simon Vega to come to New York uh, and create a piece on site. And what he did is he went to see the Whitney Museum uh, uh, up in Mid Midtown and he decided to recreate it using uh, what he calls his third world lang lang language. Uh, Simon Vega, as you know, is from San Sal Salvador. Uh, and so what he did is he used things from the street, cardboard, the way in which much of the housing is actually built there. And he decided to recreate the Whitney Museum uh, for El Sal Salvador. The irony is, is that there's actually not a lot of spaces in uh, El Salvador to show art, uh, especially the kind of art that he makes. And so this is really his way of making a mu mu museum space uh, for San Sal Salvador. I work uh, almost like a scientist. But not a real one. <laughs> like, a, yeah, as you said, it's like a laboratory, but it's all about my experimentation about recycled plastic. I work uh, like only with recycled plastic that I photograph, I sculpt, uh, rebuild something else with what I can found in the in a rec recycled bin, and the idea is to recreate a certain kind of new life coming from the plastic that is, uh, as everybody know, something that is uh, polluting our oceans and our nature. Y así terminamos nuestra visita a Pulse. Te espero la próxima semana para seguir con nuestra maratón de ferias en la semana Freezer Nueva York. Nos volvemos a ver el próximo jueves. Chau, chau.